Is this even possible? How? There are seven identical balls. Find the heavier ball in two attempts. Okay, I know. The caption says seven, but the picture shows eight. And it also says, if all the balls are identical, shouldn't they all be the same weight? Maybe there's a misinformation in the problem. Okay, let me clarify this for you. First, you know, seven and eight, of course, it's different. So this is what we are going to do. In fact, we can actually do up to nine balls. So let's change the question to nine, and I will put down another ball right here. Okay, this is the maximum number that you can use the skill twice to figure out the heavier ball. And the question is actually this. We have nine identical looking balls, meaning all the balls look the same, but one of them is heavier than the others. And our goal is to use the skill twice to figure out the heavier ball. So I'll tell you, it's actually possible. Now, if you haven't done this already, please pause the video and try this first before you watch the solution. Done? Okay, this is how we are going to do it. First, we have nine balls. We are going to divide them into three groups of three. So I'll just group them like this. Doesn't matter how you group it, and I'm going to call them A, B, C. And then we're just going to pick any of the two groups and then use the scale. Let's just keep it like this. Put A here and then put B here. So what's going to happen? Well, if this is balanced, I'll just say if A is equal to B, what that means is that all these balls and all these balls have the same weight. That means the heavier ball must be in group C. So we will have to check C. Hmm, okay. And of course, if whichever group has a heavier side, then of course we just check that group, right? So for example, if A is greater than B, then we're just going to check A. And of course, similarly, if A is less than B, then we check B. So whichever way, we are going to narrow it down just three balls now, right? So we just have three more balls after the first usage of the scale. So just three balls. So let's say one, two, three. And then here again, we have the scale. Let's just put it down here like this. Now, how are we going to do it? Three balls, we can divide them into three groups of one, right? And I'm just going to look at this, this, and that. And I use capital A, B, C already. Let me put down X, Y, Z. Why not? And then I'm going to pick any of them, right? Any two of them and use the scale. So let's pick X and Y. And in fact, it's the same thing. Have a look. Now, here's the deal. If X and Y is equal, then the answer is Z, right? This one has to be the heaviest. So C is the answer. The answer is Z. Well, of course, if X is heavier, then it's going to show it right here. That means this two must be equal because we only have one heavier ball. So if X is greater than Y, then the answer is just going to be X. And likewise, if X is less than Y, then the answer will be Y. That's it, right? So where's the map though? Well, why does this work? Three to the second power give us nine because of that. So the map is three to the second equals nine. Just so now just a real quick question. What if now I let you guys use the scale three times? Then what's the maximum number of identical balls with one heavier than the other for the same puzzle? Right, go ahead, figure it out.